Can a dad senior developer who used to be an English teacher with his mentees from all over the world create a game-changing app that could save programmers from doom and gloom of the age of AI within three to four months? Yo, you said you were going to do it. Here we can get it from iAuth. So the idea came about when, um, actually it came out when we were first starting Let Fill the channel. Minnie wanted to start an app and document the process of building the app. But I told him at the time, I was like, I can't. I can't put my heart and soul into something when I have my heart and soul into the channel, mm -hmm. right? Because every single app that I do, I try to go all in, and I, I didn't feel any idea. And I was like, I had kind of like low self-confidence at the time, because mm -hmm. I, I just did get laid off. So I was like, ah, I don't want to get back into like the thick of developing anymore. Mm -hmm. But after I found the right people that have reached out, and you know, I, I actually like, I really like developing, right? I like coding. so. And, you know, we're making enough uh, capital now to kind of do something interesting. And I think one of the best ways to help them was to uh, get a live app in the app store to, uh, you know, help out with like mm -hmm. a line on the resume. And Booty had a great idea. Jocelyn had, you know, had some ambition. And Gabe, I, it, it'll, it's a good learning process. And, um, you know, people reached out. And Song, you know, he's been wanting to uh, learn and stuff. And I think it's, and I always say, like, you know, build through personal projects, right? Things that you're passionate about. So there's a bunch of these code fluencers, right? And maybe I could call myself one now. But um, where's their own app, dude? So maybe uh, something different that uh, we can do at Let Fill is create an app and actually try to start a startup. And uh, we can hire people. We have a great community. And it's just uh, fun. It's it's like, I don't think it's really for monetary gain as in for now to gather people. And then I think once the people come, I think things could, could take off. Yeah. So what is the app idea? The app idea is um, a social networking platform. Everybody wants to build like a Facebook or a LinkedIn or a Reddit, right? Well, as a programmer, I can. We can. So I see a bunch of um, social networking platforms for programmers. But they're all code first, right? Stack Overflow, code first. GitHub, code first. But what about a person first social networking platform for programmers where people can ask questions, meet people, you know? And uh, humanize programmers a little bit, you know? And that's what I want to do. You know, in the world of AI and where you don't even know if that code is being written by an actual human or some generative AI, you know? But I, I, it's cool to document the process that actual, actually people need to be used. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things that um, haven't been built yet. And that's, some, that's where we come in and try to build something interesting and unique. Let Social, the mobile app, it can um, showcase our skills. And uh, it'll showcase the development team. And we can become, we can show off this app and say, hey, we can pull this off. And... We can build other apps like it, maybe other things, and we can just show the quality of the code and show the process, you know, um, why something takes a little bit longer. The whole process, you know, like show the whole development process and <laughs> there's no fluff. It's just building with the time that we have, building quality code and uh, showing people that it is possible to choose a team and uh, create some kind of software firm where we can build other projects out. What can we prove by building this app? We can prove that um, things can be built out of thin air. You know, a lot of people's concerns about maybe the mentorship or something is honestly just that first step of getting started. And I think getting started is the hardest part. They say like, you know, when an airplane takes off, when an air conditioner is turned on, that's like when the most energy is used to like start it. And that's true with anything. That's the start is gonna take the most energy. But once you get into the flow of things, it gets challenging and then that challenge turns into fun. That's something that I hope to accomplish. Just uh, accomplish that um, things can be completed. Things uh, with the right documentation, with the right plan, you can get things done. Start with an idea and a keyboard, laptop, and uh, you know, to the races. And uh, you know, programming is not dead. And you know, like programming, it's not just about programming for me. It's about like um, having fun. 
I didn't play Madden all month and I saw how much work I got done. If I just replace that time and I just um, do something like code, like I listen to music and I code and it's like equivalent. And I've been watching some Korean dramas, but <laughs> anyways, check this out guys. Uh, you know, it's always good to get like a pair of headphones. Just, uh, it's like my old Bose headphones, but just pop those on, get the code in. This is some really loud music. Coding's for music lovers too, you know? It's like the only job where you can really listen to music, you know, and just zone out into your code. Uh, and then at the end, you have something to show for it. After like three hours of playing video games or whatever, Madden, sure, like relieve my stress. I'm like honing in on my timing of my button pressing skills. But uh, um, at the end of like coding, at the end of the day, like, you know, everything's logged with their Git logs. Holy shit, I did a bunch of work. That's cool, it didn't even feel like work, which I really enjoy. Yeah. You know, the story behind about this app, like, you know, before I got laid off, I was building like a really big social networking app with like e-commerce and everything. So it's not like I use that code or anything, but definitely I have knowledge on how to build it. So it's something that I feel is achievable. And it's not like something I'm like re like learning on the way. I'm kind of, it's just like basic stuff, like commenting, liking, um, asking questions editing profile and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, that I have a bunch of code from like, that I've written. So it's just like, it's not like I'm copy pasting it in there, but I'm kind of just, uh, you know, and everything's getting updated. So I have to relearn everything anyways. My old code doesn't even like run sometimes because it's not updated. So, you know, I have some base knowledge, but I, it's fun to relearn the updated packages and updated updated things and there's a better ways to do things now so i'm just trying to code everything the documentation says to do it in and you know it just proves to show like what i was building before i got laid off or whatever it could be something incredible all right and uh you know i built things like uh iot kickboard app uh, mental health application journal journaling and chatbot and um just many other things like uh e-commerce platforms product showcase platforms, um, you know, cryptocurrency stuff and social networking platform. And that's what we're building now. So it'll be fun. Yeah, so if you want to be mentored by me and learn how to code clean and um, learn how I learn, click the link below in the description and fill out the form and we'll contact you. From my overview right now, for some reason, I'm seeing Booty and Jocelyn more as the front end. And then Song and I do it doing mostly back end. So right now we have a team of five developers. The wild child from Mexico. Gabe, the intelligent go-getter. And we got Booty, the ambitious, passionate developer. And we got Song, the intelligent one. And then you got me. Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, everybody thinks, you know, if you just learn React Native and build a mobile app, you have an app. But it's actually a lot more than that, right? So we have like the app, it's like the starting, hello. And like log in. Sign in. Everything's, everything's ready. Got the chat ready. And everything should be good. We got all the places you need to start coding. And now, it's not just the front end, right? We gotta build the we're building the back end out. So you build the back end, you got the right now we uh we got the user service, we got the user point service, we got the post service. Right now I'm just working on the user service a lot. And I'm using Firebase. And, and then we have the admin panel. Like right here. So we're using something called React Admin, it's pretty cool. Comes with a bunch of code. Reminds me of Django a little bit. But it's pretty cool. We got we got um we got Jocelyn working there. Um Hey. Uh, what do you think of the app so far? It's a lot more work than Expo, right? We got um we got the admin panel, it looks pretty good. So we got a lot of tasks right now. I'll show that. So we just manage everybody using Trello. This was January. Now this is February, 
So we got a bunch of tasks done here. So in January, we just set up the app. I mean, we, uh, there was a big bottleneck from like uh, vector icons. Uh, that was like a dependency from React Native Elements. And it just seems like that documentation was all set, uh, updated. But we just initiated a bunch of code, initialized a bunch of code, and uh, set up like the ESLint, module resolver, uh, research some UI libraries, and uh, set up some Firebase stuff and all that kind of stuff. So um, we got that stuff done, but there was a big bottleneck. So, but we got through it. So we didn't get that many tasks done. But in February, we're uh, we're off to the races. So there was some um, Firebase upgrading uh, issue that I, I fixed the other day. Give the chat, uh, React navigation set up the admin panel, set up React Query, uh, did some Lodi animation stuff. I'm, you know, it's getting kind of fun now, right? We have like- a heart. Damn. We got like, we got- <laughs> Look at that, dude. Look at that dude. animation, dog. Uh, set up the API gateway and the service, uh, persist login state, and just React hook form and all this kind of stuff. Async storage, global state management, Redux. And um, there are some tasks to do. Uh, gonna set up the story book. We need to set up a team notion and um, set up some other screens, set up IETN, push notifications, then we do the social networking, um, social authentication, and I'll get that done, or we'll all get that done. The only one I'm, we have to do is the Apple login later because we need to set that up with the uh, Apple developer account that we need to get. And then later on, we need to set up the fast lane and maybe flashlight and all that kind of stuff. So. I have all my resources here, communication channels, task types, uh, the backlog, what we're doing on this sprint, what people are doing now, and then uh, ready for QA will be like ready for quality assurance check. And then it gets put into read uh, done or recheck. I think this should be done. It's uh, looking pretty good. We still have a lot to do. Now the next thing we need to do is go to uh, Fiverr and look for a designer uh, so we'll get we'll get that done we'll document that process i think it'll be pretty interesting yeah we'll get like uh sample screens and we'll get them and we'll be like all right cool and uh but first we need to make some user stories and um some documentation to give to that designer mm -hmm. about what kind of app we're building and then uh research a little bit and uh basically you know we want to make something like reddit linkedin Facebook, threads, uh, Instagram, and all this kind of stuff. So uh, I think it'll be pretty interesting. So right now in this uh, in this uh, in this backend, we're using we're using uh, molecular in the backend for uh, microservices, and we're also using um, Mongo. And uh, so Mongo is uh, no SQL. So um, why we're not using SQL is uh, I just better it. No SQL, personally, it's number one. But um, yes, we're gonna have a lot of relations and things like this. But we can kind of use Mongo with like simple uh, relations, and then use aggregations for joins later. And I just I I prefer coding like that anyways. I feel like Atlas is pretty cheap uh, compared to like RDS in AWS for like um, SQL databases. And just to be honest, like. I'm just better at NoSQL and Mongo and aggregations and population. I just uh, think I'm just going with the knowledge I know. They're both valid answers. And they're both valid. Creating the whole ERD and all that kind of stuff. Sure, it's really good for documentation. But um, Mongo, you can kind of do something very similar anyways. I feel like SQL has its own little like engine in the that's like runs very fast inside of its environment. But you know, I like Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have a lot of code written already inside of the mobile app we have all like these hooks written um use logger uh, use keyboard avoiding view um right now we're using react native elements which is really helping with the theming themes like the theme provider and the modes and you set like the definition files for how you want to use things the utilities, I just have like, even like my old code, I have all this like classes written, like app storage and all this kind of stuff to control async storage and 
even like the Firebase service, you know, I, I have knowledge and like using it. So just, it's not too hard to use. So I just really like it. And, um, you know, I have all my HTTP error kind of typed out and like my React query wrappers all kind of typed out here. It's pretty cool. And, you know, I just take code that I've already written. I think there, I, I think I have a repository in the uh, GitHub of like code I have. So I'll just show you guys CD code let fill utilities. Let's go here, CD and algos. So we have like a bunch of little codes, code that I'll probably use here, like that I've always used. I think we even like made a videos about these, this code, mm -hmm. like, uh, like a type getter. So like you can just run an object through this and I'll give you the, all the types, the type file. There's also like a get property by dot notation. I'll use in my code later and I'll use like this key exists. So like no matter how nested a key is, it can try to find the first key instance in there. So I'll probably use some of this code right now. It's just in some, uh, it's in like the beginning stages, but all the um, annoying stuff is all done. TypeScripts, TypeScript for the navigation, all the screens, like placeholders, yes. auth context, um, configurations, whoops, uh, configurations. Now we're ready to get design and uh, you'll, you guys will see it come together. And now that we're ready to get design, we're gonna spend, you know, some money, like maybe like thousand dollars to get a design, you know, off to the races. And if you wanna learn how to start a project, from scratch, you know, and how to start one and finish it all the way to deployment, click on the link below and uh, I can show you. And we're gonna document the process of everything from the beginning of the app, the way it is now, to the end process of getting like the developer accounts, setting up the fast lane, um, setting up all the deployment stuff, and it'll be really cool. And uh, you know, even if you want to test the app or something, maybe we can ask you to, we can add you to the test flight or internal testers and uh, we'll get, get you testing as well. And uh, remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.